Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I found a place where I got a really good deal on Abaya and Hijab match together, like it comes together as one set. So I'm just gonna show you my entire Abaya collection with like maybe different Hijab, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna start with the new ones. The other ones I try on are gonna be repeats, but just to show you my entire collection. So these two new ones come with the Hijab and they were delivered like the next day and it was like so affordable and they're really high quality. So I'm actually really, really, really impressed with that. So this is the matching Hijab that comes with it. It's the same color as the um, Abaya, black and like a turquoise grayish color. I don't know what color that would be, but as you can see here, it has some nice detail, like bejeweled detail on it. All right. All right, so this is the whole abaya, number one. It's size 58, all of the abayas abaya are in size 58 or 60, which is pretty much the biggest size here. So as you can see, it goes right down to my feet and covers my feet pretty much. So I'm completely covered, which is what I like for ultimate modesty. And we are going to be traveling as well, so I would like a nice couple of really more fancy abayas. And underneath the abayas, just so you know, I always wear a slip. It's like a full head to toe dress that covers everything as well. All right guys, so this is the second new abaya. By the way, these were a birthday gift because my birthday's in a couple days. They're a birthday gift from my husband Salah, in addition to the um, iPhone 14 Pro Max that I'm filming on right now. So I hope the quality is really good for you guys. Um, abaya number two. Same price as the other one, and it comes with the matching hijab as well. It's just a plain black hijab. So I really love the detail on this. The colors are really, really nice, and I have a lot of makeup looks that I can do to match this color. So it's more of a fancy, more colorful abaya. I'm used to just wearing black or white. Usually my abayas have like baggies, like, which makes it hard to like eat and cook because they're always dragging in the food. All right, now from far away. All right, so as you can see, this one is also pretty long in a size 58. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty roomy, and this is what it looks like from afar. It pretty much covers my feet as well. And that's because it's, uh, you know, the size. They assume that if you're a size, bigger size, the taller you are as well. And in my case, I'm only 155 centimeters, but when I have shoes on, it's not too bad. This is Abaya number three. This is one I purchased before I went back to Canada. The first time I came to Quake, this is one I got. And this is a size 60. It just depends on how the Abaya is made and the fabric they use. And as you can see, this is one of the styles that have the loose sleeve, which I don't prefer. I prefer a tailored sleeve. So this one is not as long, but it does still cover my feet and my shoes. All right, guys, here's another Abaya that we did shop for previously. And this is another black and white one. This would also go really nice with a white hijab, but I couldn't find my white under cap, so I'm gonna wear a black one, which also goes with it. But what I like about this one is that it has pockets. Pretty deep pockets, you can put a lot of things inside. I can put my phone and the router in each pocket when you go to the beach or something. What I don't like about this abaya is how long it is for a size 60. This is the longest abaya I own, and I'll show you down below. As you can see, it's really long. And actually, in that one video where I actually tripped, I tripped on my abaya. I just fell and fell on the stair because, yeah, you can easily fall. So we're coming to a near end here. This is one that I don't really wear often because it is kind of snug, but I just wanted to show you the style of an open abaya. So this is the open abaya. There is a clasp under this hijab that you can close it. I actually can't close it. Um, it just isn't made the same way as flowy and as roomy as the other abayas that I have. So I'm just showing you and maybe someday, inshallah, when I lose some weight, I'll be able to wear it. But until then, I'm just going to show you here. All right guys, so this is one that you've seen many times as well, but I really like it because it's so casual and it's just plain black and I really like plain black. So I also am just wearing my under cap just to show you what I wear underneath my chiffon or jersey hijabs. I forgot to check the size, I'll write it here somewhere. But this is just a basic day-to-day -day abaya, nothing fancy or anything like that, very casual, so. All right, now for the last one. All right guys, this is the last, and certainly not me, my last abaya I'm gonna show you in my collection today. So it's a mix between casual and a little more than casual, like a little fancy. Um, it has a nice fringe detail and it's a nice bicolor with neutral tones. And I have a matching hijab here, more casual, breathable hijab, not chiffon, anything fancy, anything like that. I can also show you guys hijab tutorials uh, if you're interested in the future, just to show you how I do different styles. I've had to learn myself through Instagram tutorials, they're really great. Social media can be a really good learning tool. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my abaya and hijab collection. I do have a few other hijabs, but I'll show you those at a later date. This is my abaya collection for now. Abayas are, I find, more comfortable and loose fitting for someone my size if you're in Kuwait. I find casual wear, like jeans and shirts and things like that, are made more on the smaller side and they actually um, usually only go up to like 2x in the stores. So even online, I'm having trouble finding like 4 or 5x. So, um, you know, I am going to be going to a gym, but you know, I am going to be going to a gym, but you know, I am going to be going to a gym, but in the meantime, I need to be, still be stylish, you know, so, and comfortable. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going to.